Now, to someone else who's been relentless in holding the ABC to account in Senate estimates over this, we've showed you the grilling that Sarah Henderson gave the ABC bosses, and she joins us now. Sarah, thank you for your time. Look, you just heard Ben Fordham say that perhaps the head of the ABC's investigations unit, Joe Puccini, should be sacked over this. Uh, what consequences do you think there should be after this admission by the ABC that it doctored video to add in more gunshots? Well, Sherry, good evening. Firstly, let me say this is a story the ABC got very, very wrong and there needs to be a full investigation. This is the most um, appalling standards of journalism and the fact that the ABC was presented with the evidence showing they had the story wrong and they continued to prosecute the case in the federal court, mounting up millions of dollars in costs is an absolute disgrace. So there does need to be a full investigation, including in relation to the doctoring of the video. Um, of course, the Channel 7 Spotlight program raised very, very serious matters. And so that does need to be fully investigated. It's also been brought to my attention that the ABC employees might have broader statutory obligations to act with honesty and due diligence and care and good faith. And uh, those um, requirements are in the Public Governance, Performance and Accountability Act 2013. Mm. So this is a very, very serious matter and we need all of the answers, Sherry, and we need them urgently. Sarah, what's your view on the ABC using unlimited taxpayer funds for a case like this? Do you think there, there should be a limit to how far the ABC can go when it's defending ultimately a hopeless defamation case with taxpayer funds? Well, I think the bottom line is that they failed the ordinary standards of good journalism. They didn't interrogate the facts. And rather than do their job, they continue to prosecute this in the federal court, mounting millions of dollars. And it's very clear to me, Shari, that the ABC has not been a model litigant. They could have resolved and settled this matter for a very small amount of money. In fact, initially, they could have resolved it for no money at all, just an apology and removing the offensive material. But the ABC doubled down. They did not check their facts. They ran this horrendous case in the federal court and Heston Russell was subjected to um, the most appalling conduct by our national broadcaster. So I think as part of this full investigation, the actions of the lawyers, as I said in Senate estimates, must also be fully investigated. All right. Well, Sarah Henderson, good on you for holding them to account and thank you for your time this evening.